I'm Sterling Anderson. I'm a co-founder and the chief product officer of Aurora. Trucking is where Aurora's self-driving system will roll out first. There are several reasons for that. Among them, the compelling value proposition of trucking extends well beyond just cost abatement of human drivers uh, into much greater safety, asset utilization, and uh, uh, freight movement that is unachievable with human drivers today. Uh, and I mentioned unachievable in, in the following sense. These trucks, because they're not subject to hours of service limitations, they, they don't operate just 11 hours a day and then have to sleep, uh, they can move near 24 hours a day. Now the difference, just to give you an example of, of, of what that can mean uh, in material terms, is moving a load of goods from Los Angeles to Dallas, Los Angeles, California to Dallas, Texas today, takes on the order of two to three days for a human driver. For a self-driving truck, that's 24 hours. And being able to move goods that quickly makes a dramatic difference for the requisite footprint of distribution centers, makes a dramatic difference to the speed at which you can move goods. It starts to take from air freight, uh, which previously was required to move at rapid, at, at great speeds, uh, and starts to eat into that industry as well. Um, and then finally, it provides a backstop uh, for the tremendous needs that the trucking industry deals with today. Today, the United States alone operates at a shortage of about 80,000 truck drivers. That's expected to double in the next few years. Um, even beyond that, many of the large carriers are dealing with over 90% annual turnover in their driver population, with much of that population aging out. Uh, and so this is a tremendous structural need for more drivers uh, and a latent need for assets that can move at much greater speeds, uh, at much greater utilization, and can move goods across a much sparser distribution center footprint than has been required to date.